Hi, me, Lindy, and everyone else. This is Deborah from Old Mom's Old Stuff, and I just <clears throat> wanted to show you some things that I got from one of the latest auctions I went to last week. So, I think I, now this is what I need your help with. I know that I paid up. For a lot of these things but hopefully I'm gonna learn from it and I think these things are unique and very resellable I, and I think they're they're gonna be desirable so we'll start I have a few pictures um, we'll start with this one here I think so this is the it's this is behind glass, and it's a modern, I call it um, still life. And it is signed and dated 1996. Now, I cannot read this artist's signature. Um, maybe one of you can read it and, and let me know in the comments who you think it is. But I think it's very interesting. Um, Mom even said um, that this would make a very good pattern to do an embroidery design. And I agree. I agree. This would be, and it could be a, a picture on the wall, a cover for a pillow. Um, it could be for, uh, you know, to set on, uh, uh, lay on top of your end table or coffee table, a work of art that way. But I thought it was very interesting, signed, dated, and let's see here. I paid $1.40 for this. Um, so I, have, I haven't found anything like it in, my, in the little bit of research I've done so far. Um, but we'll see. I, I think it's very, I, I just think it's really different. I think somebody would really like having this up. In their modern home decor. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Where shall we start? Okay, so this little Bambi and Thumper. Now, is that cute? Let's see if we can get it so you can see it. I mean, adorable. It's a gobel, made in Germany. I haven't found any flaws, and hopefully <laughs> I won't drop it and cause some flaws. There's the bottom. Okay, so I paid $12 for this. There are several online for sale, and um, for a lot more than $12. I just think it's adorable. <laughs> it's so lifelike uh, or cartoon-like, just like you would see it in the movies. Very adorable. Very cute. Very cute. Okay. So, this was from that same estate sale. And this is Snowbird. It's a Lefton. It's called Snowbird. I paid $5 for this. Again, I don't see any flaws. It's bisque. But I mean, look, even the little, the little um, holly, or no, not holly, mistletoe, that, or, or maybe it's holly, that she's sitting on. I mean, I just... Somebody will like that in their collection, I think. Very lifelike. Look at the eyes. She's looking right at me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. This one, I got at that same estate sale. Now, it's not signed. I think it's probably a hobbyist. But dig those mid-century lines. And I, I love orange and red one of my favorite 
colors to decorate with. I mean, with the gold, looks like gold sponging highlighted on there. Okay, I paid $1.60 for this. I mean, that that's going to stand out in somebody's cabinet, somebody's decor. I, I think somebody's going to really like that one. Again, a little bit different because of the color, I think. All right, let's see here. So, I know people love cats. And this is Cat Mom. Can you see it? Now, I look, there's lots of cat mugs, Cat Mom mugs out there. This one, let's see here. Made in China. It's modern, that's for sure. But excellent condition. Let's see. I paid $2 for it. And I saw a lot of Cat Mom mugs, but I didn't see any like this. The turquoise, the white, the gold. I don't know if you can really call that turquoise, but definitely a greenish blue color. It's good and sturdy. I think somebody, uh, if I was a cat mom, I'd take it. <laughs> okay, so this from an estate sale also. And I paid, I paid $6.25 for this uh, biscuit jar. But I mean, look at the, can you see the scene on there? Look at that. I mean, look how the design goes up and it matches the lid. To me, that cell says it's, you know, some quality. Farm scene. The blue and white. Look at that. The trees, the detail. It's a little lid, excellent condition, and this is James Kent Old Foley, Staffordshire, England. I'm not sure, I don't remember how old this was, um, but I don't know, this looks, I, I, I just, look at the top. Look at the top there, that house, and the flowers on the handle. Wow. Wow. Okay, this mug, I don't know if you remember my tour, um, but I have a lot of mugs. There's so many, so many are like pieces of art to me, and this is one. This is three-dimensional, it's raised. It's got the bird. Check out that handle. Looks like a fence. Looks like the fence just extends from the cup out to the handle. The beautiful pink flower in the background. Again, in excellent condition. Rosemary Millet. I just think, now I don't know if somebody would really want to drink out of it or just have it up on their shelf to look at, to look just very interesting, very unique. One of the more unique mugs that I have, I must say. And I paid $2 for this. Okay, so these, these are things, I don't know, you'll have to tell me. All right, so I paid $8 for this pair of Spode Holiday Salt and Pepper Shakers. And it is the Christmas tree. Oh, it's got, it's got salt and pepper in it. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Made in England. Excellent condition. Also from an estate sale. I don't know. I, salt and pepper shakers. That's another thing I have so many of. But they make them in so many different interesting shapes. 
it's, it's they're hard to resist. Okay, so this one, this is ceramic bisque Pucci. P-U-C-C-I is the artist and it is signed. I paid $10 for this, but I mean, look at that detail. Excellent condition. Check that out. I mean, look at that. He's sitting on a bench. I don't know if you can see the signature or not. But I'm telling you, there you can see the Shriner by Pucci. I'm not sure when this was made. My mother said that she made one of these when her husband was a Shriner, that she she painted the, the figure. Um, very interesting. Okay, now this, look at this. Okay, so I don't know if it, well, I know you don't know, but my little grandson that lives with us is a brown-skinned boy. And so I try to be respectful of that, and I'm always on the lookout for African-American art figurines, and they're, they're not very common, but they sell pretty well for me. And this one, I just thought the frame was beautiful. The picture, you know, I don't know. I feel like they're having a, getting ready for a Bible study lesson or something um, after supper. That's what it reminds me of. I've just, I just... I love that color green. It's matted, framed. I paid $3 for this. And I think anyone would be proud to have it up in their home. Let's see if I, if what the back says. Okay, there's nothing on the back that says anything. So, um, that I did get from an estate sale as well. Okay, so these two Westmoreland candle holders, it's called, oh shoot, I can't remember what it's called, um, what, this, what this pattern is called. It's like snowflake, something like that. Again, excellent condition. A pair of them still with their tags on or their labels on. I paid $10 for the pair. So we'll see what happens with those. By the way, I sure do appreciate anybody who's watching this. And if you'll like it and subscribe, oh, I would love that. Okay, this, this little brass and it painted salt and pepper shaker again with the little tray how adorable I mean and the red you know one of my favorite colors to decorate with I paid $7.50 for this so what do you think was that too much I guess I'll find out won't I <laughs> yes I will find out okay so this this is a a powder box that's that's pretty close <laughs> um, but the bottom part is a kind of an amber colored glass chrome and this is Bakelite the little, little Bakelite handle okay so Here's one of the ways, you know, you hear, oh, if you rub it, you'll smell uh, a slightly offensive smell. 
So here's what I suggest. When I was washing it and cleaning it up, when I got it wet under the warm water, I could smell the kind of like rotting egg smell. And I'm like, oh, I didn't really realize this was Bakelite. But that's what it is. And I looked it up and it is Bakelite. Um, I paid $2.80 for this and it's oh, engraved. You're not gonna be able to see it, but it's um, a vintage uh, DeVille Bliss, I think is what it's called. I haven't seen any just like this. They sell for all different kind of prices. And the hundreds of dollars for the much more ornate. So this one is not gonna be uh, near that, but it does have the engraving. It's a nice, simple, classic, I feel like, Art Deco. Um, I, I wish I had room. It, it's something I, I would really dig. And you know what, if my doesn't sell it, I might put it up in our bathroom to actually store powder in or cotton balls or make some of my um, butter and put in it. Um, okay. This is it's called Puss in Boots Pitcher. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's a Shawnee it started out at $85. Now, I got there on the last day. I paid $21 for it. I feel like I paid too much to, for, to resell it. Um, but again, excellent condition. And we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll just see. There's, there are quite a few of them online for sale. So, I don't know. I'm going to learn. I'll learn. Um, now these are probably my favorite things that I got at the estate sale. Again, I got there on the last day. Now the chance of going on the last day is things can be pretty picked over. This wasn't, I think probably because their things were priced so high, but these are in excellent condition. They even have real collars. They're some kind of cloth like with the, with the real buckle. I mean, and look at the eyes. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if this is a mom and a dad, but I paid $21 for the pair. And look at her. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Lefton. Not a chip, not a crack, not that I've seen so far. I mean, look at that. Does she look realistic? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I just, I mean, I couldn't grab them up fast enough. Okay. So behind them, behind these two little, the cuteness, is another picture. Now it's a print under the mistletoe, 1995, and it's signed, but Look at that cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Again, it's in a nice frame, matted, round matted. I paid a dollar forty for this picture. And let's see, I can't remember if it says anything on the back here or not. It has it talks about something in the back, but I'm already going too long, so I won't bother trying to read that to you. But you could put this aside and hang up with your decor for the winter and Christmas time, and you can get this little cat in your house. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute. Little boy and girl. Oh. Okay. 
Now this, again, it's a basket, and on the back, from Ellen and Myron, 1947, written in cursive. I'm old enough, though, that I can read cursive. And this is a, a peacock, I believe it's a peacock, but can you see the feathers are made from real feathers under this glass? I mean, talk about some detail. So we know it was made 1942 or before. The basket is in outstanding condition. No stains or splinters sticking out. I love this. I mean, I think it's, wow. I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's made of real feathers in there. Okay, so two, two more things that I got from the estate sale and I paid $5 a piece for these. Now, I mean, and I haven't really cleaned them up yet, but the little boy and then this little girl. Now, what kind of face? Let me pick this up for us. What kind of face do they have? I don't know. Made in Japan. It's got the little rhythm. They're, they're wall hangings. It's got the, rid the ribbon to hang them up. I mean, are these unique? I, I mean, how I, I don't think you're going to find something like this very often. Oh, gosh. I just couldn't pass them up. I think somebody else will like it. Okay, and then this Happy Easter picture. Um, vintage look at, and it's, can you tell, can you see, this, the, this is what made me get it. Because it's, it, it's three-dimensional. It's not just flat. Can you see that? I don't know if you can tell or not. I paid $2 for this. Now, you know, just because Easter's coming up and the, the three dimension, that's what made me decide to get this. Again, put it up for your Easter decor time and then put it away. Okay. And then I think the last thing that I'm going to talk about is this. You know, I feel like somebody made this. I paid a dollar fifty for it. It's my mealtime prayer, but look at that old fashioned kitchen. Look at that. The carved wood. That's wood. I just I, I just thought the way it's kind of faded at the edges. I don't know how old this is. There's the back. You know, I feel like maybe somebody kind of decoupage that but anyway I really appreciate you sticking with me this long I, I, I'll get better I'm holding the camera in the correct direction this time um, but I tell you I wanted to let you all know about a, a, a YouTube a channel that I discovered this weekend because I grew up in the 60s and 70s and I really like it's very comforting the whole mid-century is comforting to me and, and a lot of the artwork and decor are familiar like my aunts would have certain pictures up and and, and so it, it gives me comfort um, but I found this site it's called um, Michael Pasiti P-A-C-I-T-T-I -T -T -I, YouTube and what I learned from it there's just a few of them but they actually are films short films um, made in the middle of the century and they have he has a couple that really are good at teaching the difference between art nouveau and art deco 
because I'm just learning about all of these things and so it can be kind of confusing. But he also has a couple of interesting decor from from the mid-century. Um, I just wanted to share that with you uh, just kind of as a little thank you for stopping by and um, I'm going to sign out. So until later.